Hello again, it's Tamara, and I'm back with another one of these junk journals that I made over the last couple weeks. Um, I just got a bee in my bonnet that I wanted to make something that was a little bit different than what I usually do. And I was like, oh, I'm going to simplify and make these ones so they're not so complicated with all the sewing. And of course, once I got going on them, it, the joke was on me because I can't keep my pages out from under the sewing machine. This one is... Uh, just I call it the snowman globe book because it doesn't have a name on the front but um, this one has a more I believe a modern theme inside of it for the the um, like modern tur meets traditional like this is modern to me um, but also has kind of a traditional vibe to it so just um, I think you I, I don't know maybe I'd see this in a store today but I'm not sure <laughs> I'm all confused as I'm making these proclamations. It's a uh, double pocket page. And this book, I did glue these numbers down into. So these guys are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. And I, you can either use them just as decoration or you can use this as kind of like an advent or how you keep track of your events throughout the month of December. In this book... Um, I have a lot of old cards. My mom was getting rid of her cards and she was gonna throw them away. And she had been saving them for years. Here's number three. She'd been saving them for years, number four, to make some kind of project that she had. And um, finally I was just like, oh, it's never gonna happen. And I was like, I will take them. But then I made a promise to myself I'd use them by 2019 if I didn't, uh, or if I took them. So I feel really proud that I actually used them all. This is a, a page out of Frosty the Snowman, adapted from the song. I just like the illustrations in there. They're very like old 1950s Dick and Jane kind of look. There's number six. And some tea stained paper here. And this page actually is from an old school text that my district was getting rid of. I'm a teacher. I teach second grade. And because, you know, we don't really do a whole lot of Christmas specific stuff in classrooms anymore and so it was kind of fun to pull that out of the old textbooks and then the other stuff is like music in here there are tea stain papers there's a lot of stack or scrapbook paper number eight I like this tag a lot I liked the black and the red sparkle a lot I liked the craft paper with the red sparkle a lot and this was this turned out to be a theme that I very much enjoyed working with this Christmas like modern but old-fashioned I don't even know what to call it <laughs> I just like it I call it cool and awesome and something I love um you can write here and then tuck all of the stuff that you collected from that event in there like I'm always thinking of going to the Nutcracker I live in the Seattle area and for years it was the Maurice Sendok version of the uh Nutcracker and then more recently they've changed it and I haven't seen it yet, but I just always think of the Nutcracker. That's such a traditional um, holiday event for people to do. And, but in Seattle here we have a parade that happens on Black Friday and there's tree lightings galore and then there's you can go see the these insane um, holiday gingerbread houses like they've done them in the theme of Harry Potter, and they've done them in the theme of Star Wars. And then there's Snowflake Dan Lane in Bellevue. I mean, those are just some of the free events that we have around here. And all of that comes with the little, like, ephemera. You know, your little ticket stub, or you get a little photograph, or you collect a wrapper from the lollipop even, or whatever it might be. And, you know, you glue that in here, and you write a little bit about it, and all of a sudden you have these really cool memory books. The tags are always blank on the back. It might say to from on it, but to me that doesn't, that's not a deterrent. I can write over the top of that. And then these are little cards that were meant to be taped to a, um, a gift, like with the to from on it. And so I just think you can peel that off if you want to and stick it somewhere if you want, or you can just use it like that for writing on the back of. Just because there's craft paper doesn't mean there can't be sparkle, right? I've got pretty excited with all of the different ribbons and things on this one too. Also, here's one of the tags. It says two from on the back. But to me, that's not 
that's not a big deal. Like I can write over the top of that or just, I mean, if I wanted to, I could pull all those out and just use them as a tag for a gift and stick all of my other stuff from the season in here. Oops, sorry about that. Number 14, another one of these little cards. Well, it's not, a, I guess it's a card, gift tag card. Number 15, oops, got a little glue right there. No longer. Oh, this is the most adorable little card that my aunt made. And so, of course, I put this little snowman <laughs> to go with it. More tags are in there. 16, 17, so you know we're getting close to the end of the book. This is like a belt, so it goes just behind here. And then if you wanted to, there's also another belt right here that's just that one, but it's a little harder to get to, so I just... Stuck it straight through 18, 19. I was trying to grab that one. I like that thick lace. Some more of that Frosty the Snowman before he had his hat. 20 and 21. Some pockets here. And then there's these little key tags. Sometimes they're on these because these are little pockets that open up place to write or you can have your little granddaughter or grandson draw a picture a little pocket here to hide something back there and these are meant for your Christmas list or you know whatever you're keeping track of on there you can hide your kids letters to Santa in here if you want to so all kinds of things in there Merry Christmas and glad tidings so all kinds of fun stuff in here, all kinds of potential. So thank you so much for checking this guy out and I hope you have a fantastic day.